Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about the Q&A done by the Laxadays dev team. Now, you may remember me doing an exclusive, or video with exclusive information on Laxadays, and I did, but this is the Q&A that they did afterwards, which was open to the public. So, let's get into it now. There's going to be some that's the same answers as mine. I think they put in some of the ones I asked, and then they have, you know, new ones. So, let's go ahead and check this out. So, they're saying, hi everyone, welcome to the second dev blog. Recently asked their followers on social media to send any questions, like I just said. So, how many types will nanims have? Now, I've said this before, uh, when I had my exclusive uh, Q&A with them and made the video about it, but let's go ahead and read through there will be six basic types and six special types. The special type are themselves an evolution of the basic types. For instance, water is a basic type and ice is a special type. Nanims will have one or two types with no restrictions on cross types. For instance, flame and ice can happen. So here's a list of the types followed by the special types. You have electric, then voltaic. Water, ice, air, sound, earth, alloy, and nano to light. And that's going to be their neutral type. So it's like an evolution and you can have cross types even before between the non-evolved and the evolved types and all that stuff. So will there be shinies? If so, what's the name of them? Yes, there will be color variations for nanims that have varying rarity. The name of that class of nanims, which nanims, by the way, is the monsters in, uh, you know, the creatures, the monsters, whatever you want to call them, in Laxidase, but those shinies will be called chromatic nanims, or chromas for short. So how open will the world be? The world will be split into various maps. Some are small and details, uh, or and detailed, while some are large and open. We're heavily inspired by how Bioware crafts their worlds. So, how do you, or what do you feel, makes the game the most unique? What we feel is the most unique about Laxadays is that it is a monster taming RPG with the real time combat that has you fight alongside your monsters, Nanims, instead of having them fight for you. We also feel that our art direction and aesthetics are unique to the monster taming genre as we are bringing a cyberpunk slash cassette feature vibe. So do you have a roadmap for the development of the game, or, uh, of the game and its release? We're still very early in development. Our main focus is our Kickstarter as we are currently completely self-funded. We aim to launch a Kickstarter early next year. Our Kickstarter will contain a roadmap for the future development phases and as well, or as, well as any releases. Now, that's pretty much what... I think there was one or two more things that I had in my exclusive Q&A. So go ahead and go back, check out my exclusive stuff because I believe that there's actually two or three questions that they did not cover in here that was covered in mine. I think they're getting to the new questions, so let's start. So what combat, well, what kind of combat will Laxadays have? Laxadays will have a real-time third-person ability-based combat. Weapons in this game will each have their own respective abilities, movesets, and can either be ranged or melee. Players have a basic attack that charges their ability meter, nanometer, and the players use these charges to perform various abilities. In addition to real-time combat, the game will also feature a tactical mode similar to that of the FF7 remake. This allows the player to slow things down and think through their strategy in the middle of combat. The player will also have a summoning meter that fills continuously throughout battles. Nanims can be summoned using this meter, with stronger nanims casting more of the meter, or costing more of the meter, rather. Once summoned, nanims will battle alongside the player, and if the player has raised their respective nanims friend link enough, they'll be able to control them directly in game. We will release more info on the combat system of Laxadays when we do our combat reveal in the coming weeks. So, will you be able to ride the nanims? Yes, you will be able to ride various nanims on water, ground, and in the air. Here's a gameplay video we recently posted. Now, I'm not going to play that because I actually played it twice in my exclusive Q&A video with Laxadays devs. Uh, or, you know. So, will there be a nanim breeding in the game, or breeding system in the game? We would love to include breeding nanims in Laxadays, and is one of our planned stretch goals in our upcoming Kickstarter. I hope they can reach that Kickstarter stretch goal as... I think breeding is something that plays strong to almost all monster taming games. So what kind of music will Laxadays have? Laxadays' soundtrack is composed by the very talented Zach Buckley. The soundtrack will contain a, a mix of ac acid dra uh, jazz, lo-fi hip-hop, and other various musical genres. We are very inspired by the Persona series in this regard. I have listened to it. I recommend you to go to this link and go listen to it. I will have this in the description below. 
I really freaking like it. It's a nice, really, really nice uh, feeling or sound. And I say feeling because think of what they've released and it goes with it, I think. What platforms are you planning to release Lax Days on? Since we have very limited funding, our main focus at this moment is PC. PS, Xbox, and Switch releases will be tied to stretch goals for the upcoming Kickstarter. Hope they can get that. Will you be able to evolve Nanims? Yes. Nanims have the ability to evolve into more powerful Nanims either by leveling up, using certain items, raising friendship links, or other various methods depending on the specific Nanim. Some Nanims will have a single evolution path while others have branching paths. Will there be any sort of character customization? Yes, the player will be able to choose between a female and male character at the start. In terms of equipment, since the main character is a hunter, bounty hunter in Cascadia, they will have a choice of various outfits that are tied to hunter classes. Hunter outfits are separated into classes that each have their own playstyle. The same goes for weapons. Weapons and outfits of the same class will generally work better together. There are six classes that the Hunters of Cascadia will fit into, and they are as follows. So, a Protean, the jack-of-all-trades of the classes. The benefit of this class is that it can specialize into any of the other classes. This is the main character, main player's uh, class, Beastmaster. This class specializes in befriending and battling with Nanims. Engineer, this class specializes in technical abilities as well as tech-focused weapons. Nanomancer, this is the Mage class. This class focuses on dealing elemental damage and excels at large area of effect attacks. Panzer, this is the tank class. A Panzer class hunter will have more defense focused attributes while also being able to deal massive damage. Phantom, this class of hunters will have a uh, stealth and a high single target damage at its disposal. This is the assassin class of hunter. So, how many nanums will there be in the game and will there be any legendary nanums? We are focusing on making our nanims highly detailed and interactable, so expect about 30 plus nanims. There will also be a few legendary nanims planned for the base game. We intend to include adding more nanims slash na uh, legendary nanims as stretch goals for our upcoming Kickstarter. Will there be any multiplayer in Laxidays? We intend to include nanim trading in the base game, but we'll have other multiplayer features as our stretch goals in our Kickstarter campaign starting with co-op co co battles and dungeons and moving on to PvP arena and battles. And I hope they get that because multiplayer battling and stuff like that it plays well to or pretty much multiplayer aspects ta attached to a single-player game, especially monster taming games, works very well. It's what keeps people playing. You, it's, it has replayability at that point. And that's the end of their Q&A that they did. So I hope that you all liked it. I know at times I was stuttering, making mistakes, but I was so far in I wasn't about to go back. Let's be honest about that. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually looking forward to Laxidays. It's one of the mission. I read Machine Elf. It's one of the games I am looking very much forward to. Honestly, it looks freaking awesome. If you've not went and checked out my exclusive Q&A with the team, then I recommend you to go and do that because it has more questions that was not answered here, and I also showed some videos. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you want to check out this Q&A, I'm going to be having it linked in the description below as the first link. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video, and retro on.